where you guys asked for part two of the Q&A. And this time, I'm focusing on BTS. I told you guys to send me questions on Instagram and I picked seven, ironically. I'm gonna answer seven questions, man. Let's not waste no time. Let's get right into it. Question number one. What BTS member's album are you anticipating the most? Now, besides Jimin, since he's my bias, I'm gonna have to go with RM. I know I've heard him rap before. Um, I like the way he was rapping on Persona. I don't know, his style is so interesting. I just wanna see like a different side of him if he brings that out on his album, if he, if he has one coming. Uh, like a dark side, a happy side. I don't know, I'm just interested to see where he takes it because you know he can switch his flow fast, slow, and, and I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see what he's gonna, gonna do with that. Now, question number two, my favorite music video. Black Swan, easy, Black Swan. So cinematic, um, I felt like I was literally in the audience like while they were performing, it was so creative. Um, I don't know, it was just so cool to see the, the dance styles. The way they were dancing, they really showcased their dancing with that one. I liked how they were wearing uh, black and white. Um, I don't know, just the, the contrast between those colors and then with them, it just fit. And then the theater setting, it was just, it was just amazing, I loved it. And I know this isn't a music video, but I also um, was really interested in Tiny Desk. That was one of my favorite videos we watched because seeing them actually perform live with a live band, you know, real instruments and their actual voices are crazy good. Like hearing Jimin's high notes and, 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 and V's deep voice, like in that, in that kind of setting is just incredible. Like I've, I really showcased their talent for me. Question number three, which member would I get along with the best? <laughs> Now, I'm gonna have to say J-Hope because he's so silly and crazy, like, and I feel like, I mean, you guys have seen it. I can get like that sometimes. A lot of the times off camera, I'm like that. Um, and he's just not afraid to be who he is, like, all the time. Any and any, everywhere he's at, it, it doesn't matter. He's gonna be silly and he's gonna literally, if it's a serious moment, he's going to make it something funny somehow. He's just so outgoing. We would we would literally be best friends. Like we get along so well. We would all we would rap together. We'd be on a song together. <laughs> um, but I definitely would have to say uh, uh, J Hope for sure. For question number four, a lot of people ask me what artist would I like to see on each member's albums. <sighs> I'm gonna start with RM, and I think I want to see him on a song with Lil Wayne just because the punchlines, the rapping ability, uh, the wordplay. Lil Wayne is so creative when he raps and RM is too, I feel like. It was just, I feel like it'd be a perfect match. Unless they have a song together already with that I don't know about, which by the way, all of them could have songs with these people I don't know about. But if that was the, the case, I need to listen to it. But I really think Lil Wayne and RM would just mesh perfect. Next we on to J-Hope and I want to see him with one of my favorite rappers out right now, which is uh, J.I.D. I just see their flows and their cadences switch so much. Like J.I.D. is so creative when he raps. It's like, you know he's on the track. You know when he comes, it's gonna be something different. It's the same with J-Hope. When he gets on a song, his voice is so different and you know it's him because he, it changes. Everything changes, I feel like. It's just the way the song almost becomes his song, if you know what I mean. Like his style and then it goes back to the the original song if you know what i'm saying i think that's a perfect a perfect matchup so we got sugar and i want to see him with my favorite rapper who is marshall mathers eminem i literally want to see them go back and forth almost battling each other eminem's a fast rapper sugar's a fast rapper i just want to see them go after each other literally almost like kill each other on the song and it become, come, become, become a masterpiece. The flows that they have, how fast they can go, how quick they can get their punchlines out, but also keep your attention is so like, so creative. I really wanna see that. And I, hopefully I get to see that too. Jen. Now Jen has such a soft voice, I feel like, and it's such a different kind of voice. I wanna hear him with The weekend. I feel like they would just be a nice mix of such a soft, and just a beautiful sound. 
Like I could, the song Blinding Lights by The Weeknd, we've all heard it, I'm sure. I feel like a Jen feature would just fit perfect on that. I can literally hear Jen on a lot of The Weeknd songs just because their tone of voice is almost the same to me, unless I'm way off, but to me, that's what it sounds like. They would just fit perfect. JK, and JK I think would fit nice with Drake. And I think having Drake rap, because uh, Drake has an interesting voice. He's a, a likable voice you want to hear. And then JK too, it would, I don't want to say it would catch you off guard, but having Drake rap and then JK on the hook would just be like, who, who is this? The sound would just be so, because he can hit those high notes too. And it's like, you're not expecting it. And it just comes out so nice and clean and fluent. Him and Drake would be, yes, perfect. Now V, I wanna see V, since she has such a deep, soulful voice, with somebody who's from my hometown, or I guess say home state, um, and that would be John Legend. I feel like V and John Legend would be nice. It would either be a real deep love song or a real sexy kind of vibe song I would get from them. That would just be, I literally can hear it in my head right now what that would sound like. It would be so, the melodies would be perfect, the deepness, and then John Legend can come high if he wants to. And having V behind that, oh, that would be ridiculous. And now for my bias, Jimin, if we all, if you haven't known by now, um, I would like to hear him with Beyonce. Uh, the high notes, ridiculous. Um, they would literally be blowing back and forth at each other. Just to have them literally go back and forth. I forget what that's called. Well, I mean, pretty much a duet. If they did like a duet kind of sound, it would be ridiculous. Jimin can hit it so high, maybe even higher than Beyonce, to be honest. Um, and that would just flow, and they can bring you back down to a nice mellow, a mellow state and just finish the song out. I wanna hear that. All those, all those songs that I've mentioned, or collabs that I wanna see, I really would like to see those. And if they already have songs together, please let me know in the comments, cause I'm not sure. Cause I try not to look up too much BTS stuff. I try to do it on first listen and first like reaction. Now we got question, what are we on? Question number five. <laughs> and this was a good one actually. So what songs are actually on the gym playlist? <laughs> So we're gonna start off, we got Airplane, Airplane Part Two, Black Swan, Dechita, Dimple, DNA, Home, Hang Sang, Make It Right, um, More, Ego, Pied Piper, and Run BTS. All of those songs are fire. Now some of those songs might not seem like gym songs to you but for me it works out perfect i don't think you always gotta have a crazy banger for a gym playlist um you can literally have a singing song on a gym playlist if you ask me uh whatever mood it puts you in to get get your workout through and get you done perfect and i recently um went back and i added um hang sang i forgot how good that song was so i i recently added that to the list and of course more that we just heard um, from J Hope, I had to had to add that, and I'm sure I'm gonna add more because honestly, there's probably a lot that I'm missing that I said I was gonna put on the gym playlist. We've just done so many reactions, so if I have missed any that I said I was gonna put on there, just drop it down there, man. Just let me know what I missed. Question number six: What was your most memorable moment watching or listening to BTS? Hands down, hands down, hands down our reaction to MMA 2019. That's honestly up to date. I think that is our best reaction today. I mean, the entire show had us hooked from the beginning, from start to finish, um, and we were caught off guard so many times by what was going on. The performances, it, it and honestly, I think it's the best MMA uh, performance in my opinion by them. The stage was crazy, the, the crowd reaction, they were all into it. It was literally like you were watching a movie on stage. You couldn't take your eyes away. You literally could not. The intro to Dionysus was like seven different intros. Like each member had their own intro and then Dionysus started, which was crazy. Their solo performances for each intro, 
amazing amazing i could go go back and watch that again any any day that was literally like i even saw in the comment section that people were saying that this was their our best reaction because they fell in love with how we reacted to it they could really feel that we had a lot of fun watching it and they were also entertained because we were being silly and just letting people know like yo is this an award show because it, it seems like it's just a bts concert <laughs> um literally the best the best mma performance and that was our that was my i'm not going to speak for mca but that was my um most memorable moment and favorite moment um so far um dealing with bts for sure now we got question number seven and this question was not asked i actually put this one in here so you're the first ones to hear this and it is who is your bias wrecker because you all know my bias is Jimin. And I recently have been feeling this way. And my bias wrecker is J-Hope. I think putting out the song more just solidified it for me. He is so creative. Um, when he gets on a song, it just takes you literally out of your out of your element, I feel like. And he just brings so much creativity to this song and in his verse it's not always you know cut and dry what he's gonna you don't know what he's gonna do you're not gonna you don't know what to expect from him i love his personality he's silly he's not afraid to just be himself even in his music as well so i'm really looking forward to his album as well but yeah as far as my bias record we asked that a long time ago i didn't know who it was but recently uh it's gonna be j-hope and uh jimin jimin Jimin's still my guy though, but J-Hope is right behind him. So I'm having a having a blast seeing all these guys. It could change tomorrow. It could change tonight. But right now, J-Hope is my bias record for sure. And I'm sure you guys probably wanted to know, so I had to let you know. <laughs> but hey man, that's seven questions. Zip through them quick. Glad you guys stayed to watch, man. Seven questions by you guys. And um I mean, I might do another q and A. I I don't know what else we could talk about, but just let me know in the comment section. Um, let me know who your bias record is, what your favorite moment was watching BTS. If you have a gym playlist, what songs are on it, um, and what albums you're excited to see. Literally all the questions I got asked, I'm asking you guys, and if you could put them in the comments, because I'll, I'll try to respond to them um, as much as I can. I love reading the comments. So guys, please, please put what you can down there. Um, but hey, you know, you know what that means. We made it through the video. And you know, at this time, if you ain't do it yet, you need to comment, you need to like, subscribe, and whatever order you do that in, man. <laughs> Just make it happen.